Hi everybody, I'm Liev, CJ and Drill, and if this is your first time here, can I just say welcome to you? We're a home improvement channel where beginners are welcome as well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to modify one of those inexpensive utility trailers so that you get the best bang for your buck and you make the kind of modifications that's going to really help your trailer to last and be a real workhorse for your shop. Owning a utility trailer has huge benefits. It'll save you from using the family car to haul home materials that you purchase well at the big box store or your hardware store. A trailer really comes in handy. You're going to be glad that you made the investment into a utility trailer. So let me show you the trailer kit that I purchased. My kit costs $449 and it has a load capacity of over 1,700 pounds. And one of the other features it has is, well, you can fold it up and stow it away in a corner in the garage. So that way you're not taking up a whole lot of space in your garage or looking for a place to park it out of sight in the backyard. I want to thank DAP for agreeing to sponsor today's video and for also providing two of the products that we're going to use well to make certain that our trailer assembly goes smoothly. So let's get started. So here are the materials we're going to need to weatherize our utility trailer and to also customize it to our needs. Now first we're going to use pressure treated plywood and that's got to be four feet by eight feet because we're going to need to cut it in half. Now make certain you use a straight edge when you're cutting the sheet because you're going to need to fit it on the trailer so that it folds perfectly because remember this is a folding trailer. So be precise with your cuts. So again the weather is a concern so we're going to use stainless steel nuts and bolts to secure the deck to the frame of our utility trailer. I'm also going to customize the deck by using latches. These latches are going to help me secure cargo when it comes time to like tie it down securely. I have a tail light assembly that I need to attach to the frame of the trailer and I'm going to be using self-tapping screws and this is where the tank bond liquid grip is really going to come in handy because it's going to prevent me from camming out and stripping the head of those screws. Now this is the back side of our tail light here and these are the wires that energize our light. Now don't be confused by the color coding. The color coding is different than the colors that you'd find in your house wiring. Now this right here, this is our ground wire. Now we're going to take our ground wire here and what we're going to do is we're going to attach it right here to the frame of our utility trailer. Now this hole here is a pilot hole that I drilled in the frame of the trailer. Now I'm going to use the tank bond thread stopper tape on all of my bolts because it helps absorb shock and vibration and I don't want to worry about fasteners vibrating loose when I use my utility trailer on the road. And face it, a utility trailer does a whole lot of vibrating. In fact, a thread stopper tape is the perfect solution for anything that shakes, slips, or rattles. Now I decided to customize my trailer using rails. And the rails come out so that I can also use it as a flatbed trailer. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.